How's it going everybody? Well, today I'm going to show you how to hook up your own 30 amp service at your house. Let's get to it. Alright, so full disclaimer, if you don't know what you're doing with electrical or you're not comfortable with uh, doing electrical work on your house or RV, don't do it. Hire somebody that uh, is certified, uh, licensed contractor or electrical uh, electrician and uh, leave it up to them. You know. Uh, I can't be responsible for uh, you know anybody doing this in, incorrectly or uh, improperly and, and cause damage or injury uh, to yourself or your property. And uh, so, with that being said, let's get going on this. All right. So what we have here is the uh, Eaton uh, model CHU4S. It's the uh, RV power outlet box. It is uh, waterproof, single outlet, 30 amp. And uh, it's a breakerless box. You wire it into an existing uh, breaker uh, slot on your uh, on your on your home power box here. And uh, I'll show you how I did that. It's a, a really simple uh, and very convenient uh, upgrade to do to your home if you own an RV. It's nice to be able to just pull in and plug into a 30 amp service, or if you have friends that uh, you know like to like to stay at your place. With their RV, they've got a nice 30 amp hookup. I'll put all the information on this uh, power box in the description below. But basically, it's just like your standard RV park uh, single outlet uh, 30 amp service for an RV. And it's it's unmetered. Uh, it doesn't have a, a built-in breaker, so you do have to wire it into a, a breaker, um, an existing slot or an existing breaker uh, in your house panel. And um, real quick, I'll just show you how I did that. It was super simple to do, and um, it only really only took me about an hour to uh, get everything figured out once I once I knew how I was going to route the wire. All right, so before you begin any work on this, you want to make sure that uh, the power is turned off. So uh, I've got the the main breaker off um, to the house. I've also got the breaker turned off uh, to this box. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my surge protector and I've got no lights but um, you want to go a step further just uh, you know grab your meter your multimeter and uh, you know check your check your voltage make sure that uh, make sure that your power's off there's nothing coming to this box. Now all of the uh, materials that I used, uh, probably maybe fifty dollars, maybe uh, maybe sixty dollars, uh, including the uh, thirty amp breaker that I installed in my uh, in my home panel here. I get this box open. So <clears throat> right here was the. Uh, slot that I used um, ended up uh, swapping in a uh, this this was two separate breakers and I ended up swapping in one 30 amp breaker uh, instead of the uh, well it was it was like this it was the 215s and I uh, ended up putting in a uh, 30 amp breaker and just uh, marked it RV so I know which one is which I can flip this on and off uh, whenever I need to alright so before you touch anything you want to flip your uh, service disconnect on your uh, main panel and uh, then we can remove this screw here and remove this cover and uh, that'll give us a good view of all the breakers okay, so once you have your panel removed <clears throat> you can see we uh, match up this 30 amp breaker you can go ahead and from your box you can get your box mounted and uh, run your wires uh, into your home panel. And uh, basically, all the hardware, all the mounting hardware for the for the uh, outlet box comes with the uh, in the in the kit. So when you buy it, it has uh, your mounting screws. And uh, the only thing you'll probably want to get is um, some sort of uh, sheathing, some protection for your wires going into your house, and uh, you know maybe some. Uh, some brackets to secure it <clears throat> just so it doesn't flop around and uh, 
Now I'll uh, remove this panel here and I'll show you the, uh, the easy wiring for this. This is just the one screw. Remove that and then uh, you can pull your plug here. Now I'm showing you this. I've obviously I've got my, my 30 amp breaker turned off and uh, no power going to it. And uh, if you're doing this, you'll have your power completely shut off uh, at your main panel. All right, so in the box here, you've got your uh, ground bus. It does come with this green wire from the uh, outlet plug. So you've got your ground going to the bus. Um, you've got your neutral going you know, out uh, through the conduit and up into your box and your line. So run those, you know, just like you normally would uh, any other outlet. Um, I ran it through my uh, protective conduit, uh, through the hole in the wall that I drilled, fed everything up through the wall uh, into the box. And then again, we've got your, you've got your ground and your line and your neutral. The neutral goes to the uh, bus back there and um, your, your ground bus is back there too so just make sure that everything's hooked up uh, according to the instructions on the box so when you do this buy enough uh, Romex wire to you know have quite a bit extra so I um, I just had some laying around from a previous project I did but uh, I only ended up using about uh, five feet of Romex wire uh, the box does need to be mounted uh, a minimum of 24 inches off the ground and um, you know, it's probably best to mount it as close to your uh, your breaker uh, panel as possible. All right, so we have our, our neutral and our grounds and our line hooked up to the breaker. Obviously, with everything being off, um, we can go ahead and get all the wires connected to the plug. Um, you know, make sure that you've got your, your line and uh, your ground and, you know, every, your uh, neutral, everything hooked up properly. There is a uh, a schematic up on the you know, on the inside of the box, so uh, make sure that you follow those instructions, and uh, then we can put this box back together and test everything out. Right, let me get that fit in there. And then it's just the one screw, the mounting, and I just ran a. Uh, a bunch of caulking and stuff. I haven't painted any of this yet, but uh, just run some caulking in there so it's uh, watertight. And, uh, you know, if you if you want to put a uh, little bracket on there just to secure this, this stuff is super stiff, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Okay, so once I got my cover back on, I go ahead and flip my breakers on. And, uh, and then we'll test this uh, circuit out before we plug anything into it. All right, so I'll test this uh, circuit out with my uh, Progressive Industries surge protector and uh, plug this in. It'll give you a green to go. And then the number one is uh, that the wiring is correct. Um, if you've got the red light on the number two, it means that you've got an open neutral or an open ground. Um, so it, that tells you everything right here. So I'll go ahead and plug this in. Uh, lights are lit. We're good to go. And then go inside and make sure that uh, make sure that the fridge is going on uh, AC power and that uh, everything's going the way it should. If you're um, using your your uh, converter to charge your batteries, you know, make sure that that's going the correct way and uh, you're set to go so you can you know make sure that your microwave's going and that your uh, fridge is switched over to AC which it is and uh, everything else is good got uh, my system here is uh, I'm running off of solar so I've got my converter uh, breaker shut off but uh, if you normally run you know you're charging off of your Converter if you have a newer RV with a smart converter, then uh, obviously you want to make sure that that uh, Converter uh, breaker is switched on. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching And I hope this gives you a little bit of an idea of what you need to hook up a 30 amp 
uh, RV service on the side of your house. Again, if you're not comfortable with doing it yourself, uh, consult an electrician. Uh, you know, it, it can be very dangerous if it's done wrong. It can, you know, cause fire, could uh, cause injury, electrocution. Make sure that you do it right or hire somebody to do it right. So anyway, uh, again, thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that. And uh, uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.